Hey everybody, welcome back to Argyle's Kitchen. I'm Argyle. Uh, I'm glad everybody uh, enjoyed how to make a hamburger and some french fries on the last one. And uh, today, by request, because uh, so many great comments came through, we're going to be making a uh, mac and cheese. This was by request. Um, some guy asked for it. So uh, we're going to go ahead and put this together, and I've uh, put out my ingredients ahead of time, as you can see. So we got our uh, noodles here. There's no macaroni in this kitchen, so we're going to use fusilli. Uh, we got this. Um, three types of cheese, cheddar, parmesan, egg. Uh, got some sour cream because they didn't have any heavy cream. Got some milk, and I got some water. So we're going to get this started. Let's uh, go ahead and get us a pot. Put that down. Let's go ahead and uh, get the water going. I don't know where that went. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get this water in the pot. Go ahead and uh, pour as much as you want. Just go with what you feel. I'm gonna get the whole thing in there. All right, and I'm just gonna set that aside. So when that's gonna be done, we're gonna go ahead and start cooking our pasta. So we're gonna have to turn this on. While that's cooking, we're gonna get the pasta right in there. You know, this, oh, I forgot something very important. You gotta add some salt. If you add salt, that's not salt. You gotta add salt. Once you add salt, the water is gonna boil a lot faster. So uh, just go ahead and get the salt in there as much as you need. Uh, the more salt, the more it's gonna boil. So we're good with that. Let's get that aside. So while that's uh, going and getting a little hot, we're gonna go ahead and get our noodles in there. They say you should wait uh, when dealing with noodles. Um, till the water's actually boiled, but uh, it's gonna be fine. Let's set that aside. A couple noodles spilled out, um, and I don't have the ability or the dexterity to, to pick up all the noodles, so I'm gonna pick up the ones I can. Just get them right back in the pot there. Oh, a couple on the floor here. You know what they say? They say, waste not. You know, there's kids in uh, China out there, folks. Can't be wasting food like this. So, everything's gotta go except for the ones that are physically impossible to pick up. You know, that's not our fault. That's just, that's just magic. So while that's going ahead and getting going, we are gonna start on our uh, cheese mixture. I need a bowl. Okay, now that we've gotten a bowl, we're gonna go ahead and start on our cheese mixture. So we're gonna start with a little bit of milk. All right, it's okay. It's okay if you can't exactly see where you're pouring. You're gonna be pouring the whole milk anyways. So that's one milk. Get that out of there. You're gonna to wanna to get the sour cream in that bucket. Just make sure you're. All right, this is some. That's some liquidy sour cream. It's probably expired. Okay. Well, we did drop our bowl. So we're gonna have to start over. Good thing I've got extras here in the kitchen. So we're gonna go ahead and get, get the milk in the bucket, the bowl. And then we gotta get sour cream right in there. All right, perfect. We are good to go. Now we gotta start on our cheese. Uh, we're gonna chop up this cheese. Oh. All right, excellent, excellent cutting techniques. Okay. All right. You know, you gotta make do with what you got. Over here at the kitchen, we're a little tight on funds. If you want to go ahead and uh, donate some cash over to us so we can afford a cheese grater, that'd be a great situation for everyone involved. There we go. Let's go ahead and get the cheese in here. Just shake them on down. All right. You know, it's okay. Just make sure you don't knock your bucket over. Just flip them all in there. There you go. Alright, gotta get our next cheese, our parmesan. Let's 
We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start cutting these boys. Excellent. All right. It, I feel like somebody is just constantly backing up their truck in front of my window. Can we go easy on the brakes out there? God, I have a splitting headache. I haven't slept in days. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, get this parm in there. Perfect, perfect. All pieces went in. We're doing good, folks. We're doing good. Then we got to get the last cheese egg right in there. All right. Now that we've got our bucket, we're going to go ahead and we're going to set that aside. We got to make a little room here because we got to get a pot. Put that down. Oh, all right. Just got to set this pasta aside. All right. Let's turn on our heater right there. Let's pour the, the bucket into the pot. All right, excellent. A little fell out, no big deal, folks. We know how to do this. Get everything in the pot. Ah, you know, good enough. We did our we did our uh, our duty to the kids out there in China. So let's go ahead and get this a blend in here. And get that all mixed up nice and good. All right, excellent. All right, next thing's next. How hot's the pot? Not nah, well, I can pick it up with my hands, so it's still pretty good. You know, we're just gonna turn on a couple extra ovens. You know, might as well cook them all out, you know. It's kids in China, right, folks? So while we're letting this cook, we're going to go ahead and start getting our uh, plates together. Deep plate basic. I'm looking for something more appropriate. Bowl basic. Do they have a big bowl? Hmm. Casserole. Alright. We're going to use the bucket. This is the most effective... Uh... Oh shit, I forgot about this. Alright. You want to add some of this in there. Because why not? All right. Now that all this is going here, it's uh, cooking up. We are getting our pot ready to go. So now we want to go ahead and pour this out into that boy. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. All right, we got our pastas. So just go ahead, take your hot pasta, pour it right into the bucket, get that out of there. I think there's a few in there. Yeah, there's a few in there. I'm gonna go ahead and take our cheese sauce, throw a couple uh, roasted cheeses in there right off the grill. Let's get our blender off the ground. Blend this bad boy up a little bit. That's coming out just the way mother intended. So now we're going to take this big pot and uh, we're going to go ahead and get it right on top there. Excellent. There you go folks. Mac and cheese. Alright. And dinner served. The thing is the bucket might be... Oh no, we're good. Look at that. Tell me you've never seen a more beautiful bucket of mac and cheese in your life folks right there all right everyone well I think that's it for today's recipe so there you go mac and cheese from here at the Argyle kitchen we want to thank all of you for uh, putting in your time and effort every day making this kitchen work around the clock uh, the producers haven't let me sleep yet and um, they said there's going to be a full season before I'm legally allowed to rest. So I hope you're looking for more kitchen tips and tutorials on how to make your favorite dishes out here in the kitchen. And as always, stay safe.